Anderson graced the stage for Houston Ballet for 23 years, from 1983 to 2006. And in 1990, she was one of the first African-American ballerinas to become a principal dancer with a major company. Dancing is in her blood. She's been training since she was seven. And even though she's retired from the stage, this ballerina is still with Houston Ballet, teaching at the academy. Knock, knock. Girl, how are, how you, are doing? you? I'm ready for my ballet class. We'll step up to the bar. Okay, so Motivation Monday, Lauren Anderson. I'm ready to take some of these bar classes, maybe at my desk or at home when I can't get away from the two kids. You're gonna put me through a workout. I'm gonna put you through a small workout that you can multiply times 10. I love it. And make it work for you within a month. One month. Within a month, you'll see a change. Okay, I'm taking the challenge. What do we get started with? Okay, face the bar. This is the bar. Or if you're at home, you can face the chair. Okay. And we're gonna start, and you're gonna activate what I call the second booty. Uh-huh. Right? And that's this part right here that's under the first booty. Yes. You're gonna hold it tight. Tight, 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 tight. tighter. Tight. There we go. Put your feet together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Ooh, yes, girl. <laughs> Shoulders down. Now, you're going to open to what we call first position, which is like a V or a piece of pizza. Okay. Right? Now, the thing that you want to remember is to keep your stomach in, activate your second booty the whole time, because why work out if you can't work out more than one spot at one time? You've got to do multiple right? spots. Right. Multiple spots. So okay. that's in and that's in. Now open. That v. Means v. V. Close. Boom. Again. Open and close. Bend your knees. Bend your knees and stretch. Rise up and lower. Five. Six. Stand up tall. Seven. Activate those points. And open and close. And open and close. Bend your knees and stretch. Rise up and lower. Do it again. Open and close. Dun 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 dun. dun. You can do this to whatever music you want. Ten times. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Isn't that I awesome? It. I love it. Can I give them a really good tip? Yes. If you hold your tummy in while the light is red. You can let it out when you're driving, but when it's red, hold your tummy in. You're activating your abs. Oh, abs. I love it. Mm -hmm. While Houston you're driving. Houston traffic workout. <laughs> Houston traffic workout, baby. Okay. So you can do the same thing. Okay. You can five, six, seven, eight. Turn out and in. Turn out. Activate your booty and plie. And stretch. Rise up and up and lower. And your tummy is in. Good. And plie. And stretch, rise up, and low. Hey, hey got it. it. <laughs> I think it's good to do some toe raises. Okay. We're gonna do 10 sets of eight. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three. Are you holding this? I am. And four, are you holding that? Yep. And five, and six, and seven, and eight. And then you get to chill. And then I you get to chill. And then you get to chill. And then, of course, you want to work out the lower body. Okay. I love these things. They're horrible, but I love them. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Activate your tummy and your second booty. Put your hand on your hip to have it to go somewhere. Tond you to the front. Point your foot to the front. And you're going to go lift, 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 lift. Put your shoulders down. Lift, 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 lift. But I need that 10 times. Right. In a month, you will see a difference. Okay. Even if you did one of these exercises in a month, you'll see a difference in that place that you've been working, especially if you hold your tummy in. Right. Also, you gotta breathe. And if you put your <laughs> shoulders down and lift up, for some reason you breathe. But if you do this. It's because you're holding onto it, right? Constricting. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we've got the legs, now what? This is bra ba. Say bra ba. Bra ba. Bra And it's bra -ba. a nice, round, good. Is your stomach in? It is. You activate in your second yes. booty? Oh my God. Stand tall. Thank you. Two, three. That's first port of bra. Okay. It goes like this. One. Sorry. Open to the side. Two. Bring it back down. Three. And one. Da, da, uh, da, da, down. And uh, one. Ten times. Da, da, da. Do you feel it? And a uh, one. We're only on the third time and you feel it. Uh oh, girl, you better keep breathing. And uh, one. And, uh, and uh, down. Keep it going. And, uh, 
and uh, down. We can go faster and uh, ba, 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 taller. Tummy in, don't lose it. Activate your second booty, girl. I can tell by the shape of your legs. Absolutely. I know. That's it, yeah, and down. Okay, relax. Yeah, I know. There is so much to think about, but I can see why doing that all, and by the way, better appreciation to what is happening on stage right yeah. now. Seriously. From everything that you have to remember, not only that, but everything, everything that you're holding in. And we're standing like this. Imagine doing everything like that. Oh, my word. Because if you, when you do that, that's activating a totally different thing. So, see, this is free 99, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite amount. Free 99, you don't have to go join a gym. Right. You can do this in your house. Or if you want to feel spiffy in a gym, you can do your, this is a good, a good way to warm up before your, before, before your, anything, anything, really. Your exercises or anything, yeah. Okay. This is my signature move called the chicken. Oh gosh, lots of pressure, Lauren. No, 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 this is easy. Okay. You can do this, this is, oh, okay. please. Okay. Put your arms back in a second. All right. Now, when you think of a chicken, chicken, in. Mm-hmm. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Okay, but you're... Okay. I'm all crazy. You got a claw. What is happening? Okay, so this <laughs> needs to go as much as it can with your arms up to your delta right there. Yeah. You feel that? I do. Okay. And then stretch out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chicken. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Push it out. My Ooh. wall, that's happening. Oh. And, there. and in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And out. Your chicken ain't even, girl. Your chicken's oh, no, not even. It's not. One, two, three, four. Even chicken. Even chicken. There you go. And now out. I know. That helps. You know what that Boy, helps with? Mobility, right? Oh, That's that. I need that. that. Yeah. I mean, I do lift weights. Clearly. Clearly, I lift a little bit. This is the body I fought as a dancer. You know, because you, you don't want to be muscular. Right. You just hit on a really interesting point that I think so many people can relate to. Uh, professional athlete, your, your life, and then you retire. How did your body change once you retired? I felt like Boudin. <laughs> I felt like booting. <laughs> Just like I your felt, body changed. I felt that way. Did it? Is that the reality? No. Because are we really honest with ourselves? Right. With what's going on? And now, you know, I'm embracing the fact that I'm, I look like a girl. I've got curves. I love it. Well, you look fantastic. I love your muscles. I love your body from head to toe. Apparently, in 30 days, I'm going to look like this. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming to my studio. Thank you. I'm excited to take this challenge. Get it, girl. I can't wait to see you. Chicken. Can we end with the chicken? Five, six, seven, eight. Second, two, three, four. And chicken. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And out. Two, three, four. Lift those elbows. Lift those elbows. Chicken. I mean, you got to do it. If I'm going to look like her in 30 days, I'm doing whatever she wants me to do. I'll do it too. I love it. She don't look like Boudin to me though. <laughs> Another fun fact, Lauren is also featured in a permanent fixture in the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture. Mm. Go see it if you haven't. Put it on the bucket list. It's fantastic. Well deserved. She is a pioneer indeed.